When you're short on time, but you don't want to compromise the effectiveness of your training, this is the workout for you. We are working with full body compounds plus tempo training to build strength and bump up our heart rate. So get your water, get your towel, and let's do this. With our short training today, we are not going to waste any time. We are going to get right into our warm up just quickly before we do. The two things that you will need, one is gonna be optional, one thing you'll definitely need, and that's gonna be your moderately heavy dumbbells for today's workout. Remember, when you are choosing your weight, that is relative to you and the exercises that we are doing. So when we are working moderately heavy, it's gonna be challenging for the entire working section, but those last 10 to 15 seconds, very challenging to keep your form. So keep in mind, when you're picking your weights, that's what we're aiming for today. Optional equipment, like I mentioned, will be our balance pods. So our little mini balance pods, if you've got them, we're gonna use them for the first two exercises and then for the last two exercises. So with that, we're gonna get into the warm up. Then I'll go into detail for the structure of our workout as we're going through that. And we're gonna be ready to kick some butt. So let's start with a squat to an alternating kick. And right now, starting off, good form, good posture all the way through. Training your posture during our workouts is going to help improve your posture in everyday life. So a little bonus comes along with our workout. Good, let's do last one here. Then we're gonna do arm circles. So simple structure today, no repeat. So we get one shot at each exercise, 12 exercises, work for 60, rest for 15. It is a short break. So. I'm gonna give you a little heads up on what's coming next while we're finishing that exercise, then we'll get right in to that next exercise. Last three, two, and one. Final two warm-up exercises. One leg out, we're gonna drop it down, and then push those hips forward. Down, push the hips forward. So really feeling a nice stretch here through the hamstrings, into the glutes. Drop it down, let's do two more and then we'll switch. Here's two, and one. Good, other side, leg out, drop it back, push it forward. So as you work through this, try to take it a little bit deeper each time. Sitting back into this, back is staying flat. We'll do two more. And then we'll go over that first exercise. Here's two and one. First exercise, we are gonna go into a heel elevated. If you've got your pods, if not, just a regular squat to shoulder press. So ideally you'll pick that moderately heavy weight for your shoulders and still challenging though for the lower body. So if you've got your pods, we're gonna do those pokey side up, grabbing our weights. Takes just a second to get our Heels in the right position for our squat. If you've got your pods, bringing those shoulders up. We're gonna get ready. We've got 60 seconds on, five seconds out. We'll go in four, three, two, and one. So here we go, squat it down. As you come up, press and squeeze those glutes. Good, down and up. Exhale with your press. Challenging 60 seconds of work today, but as we work through this, and it does start to get tough, just remember, it's one time through. So we will only work this one time, and you're over halfway here. Woo, getting close. So with that count, countdown timer running low, next exercise, Woo, if you've got your pods, you're gonna keep them. We're gonna do a heel elevated Romanian deadlift to a row. If no pods, that's it. Just that Romanian deadlift to a row. Last three, two, and one. Good. So we'll just keep it here. We've got about 10 more seconds. Here's three, two, and one. So take it down for that RDL. From here, row it up, squeeze shoulder blades around spine, hold it, 
back down, pull up. So you'll notice we've got a lot of compound moves today. Compound moves mean we are working more than one muscle group as we're training. This is a super effective way to train, really challenging our body in many ways. Squeeze it up. Hold it for a second there to really work those back muscles. So don't rush through these exercises, just working at a moderate tempo for all of our training today. So you can keep with my pace or work at your own. Most important here is form. We're gonna get ready to go into a sumo squat with a hold at the bottom. We'll be done with our pods. Last three, two, and one. Whew. So pods are out for our sumo. One or two dumbbells, whichever you'd like to use but we're gonna hold it at the bottom. So this is where that challenge is gonna come in. Legs out, toes out. Here's three, two, and one. Hold it low, and then press it up. Now, if you're working at your own pace, hold it for about three counts, two, and one, and then press and squeeze up. So again, follow my tempo or hold it for your own three. But you will see with these different tempo adjustments we have, either holds or pulses, whatever we may do, that is keeping that muscle under tension longer. <laughs> Increasing the intensity. So we have got a lot of bonuses going today towards the effectiveness of this shorter workout. Good, almost there, hold it low and squeeze. Next exercise is going to be a kneeling snow angel. But if that kneeling position bothers your knees at all, Feel free to do it standing. That kneeling will just give us a little extra work in our core. Last three, two, and one. Push it up, good. All right, so kneeling snow angel, challenging exercise. Knees at about a shoulder width distance apart. Palms facing out and away. Here's three, two, and one. So take it up, snow angel. Control it down, squeeze the glutes here. So when we're kneeling, the reason I said that core comes into play more is because that lower leg is completely out. It's, now it's all in the glutes, tightening up the core, tucking those hips, and challenging a little bit more for the shoulders as well with the stability here in this position. Ooh. All the way up to the top, take it nice and slow, control it down. We're gonna get the heart rate up on this next exercise. Now you have the option to do this with or without dumbbells, just depending on how you feel, but we are going to do burpees. This is a power move. So really give it your all. You can walk it or hop it, whichever you see fit. So a more plyo or a low impact. Last three, two, and one. So if you're doing the burpee with dumbbells, grab those moderately heavy weights for this. Let's get ready. We're gonna start down in plank. Ooh. Going here in three, two, and one. So again, you can walk it or hop it. Drive it up, arms up overhead, and then back down. Long, hold that plank. Power up. Whew. Good, now let's try to pick up the pace a little bit. Get that heart rate up. I told you, we're building muscle. We're getting the heart rate up today. Whew. We got it all happening in just 15 minutes of training. Keep that body long and strong when you come back for that plank. We've got a wall fit next. We're gonna add a little curl into it, bicep curl that is. Almost there. I just wanna eat my hair when I'm doing burpees, apparently. Just keeps flying right into my mouth. Not fun. Here we are. Three, two, and one. Whew. All right, so we're gonna go down wall sit, alternating hammer curl. Find your wall, bring it down, five seconds. 
And here we go. Curl it up. Legs at about 90 degrees here. Elbows tucked in. Woo! Legs are shaking from those burpees and now we're holding a wall sit. Woo! Keep that chest up. Think about pinning those shoulders to the wall or the shoulder blades, I should say. Not your shoulders, that would be unique to say the least. Whew. We're gonna really get ready to target that core next and the back of the arms. We're gonna do an arms up alternating march to tricep overhead extension. So one or two dumbbells for that one. Last three, two, and a one. So if you have one dumbbell, hold on to the ends of that weight. If you're going with two, then you can hold right onto the bar, but we're gonna take those arms up. We're gonna march it out, one leg and then the other, and then tricep overhead extension. Here we go, 60 on. Take it slow. Tricep overhead extension. March it up. Really bring that leg up, foot parallel to the floor. Tuck your hips, think about squeezing that belly button into your spine. This is working your abs without one crunch at all. Good, halfway. Keep it up. Over halfway through our training as well. How awesome is that? And you are rocking it. Next exercise, dead stop, alternating snatch. So another power move that's gonna get the heart rate up, but also build that muscle. Last three, two, and one. Good, one dumbbell for this. Again, it's a power move, so really think as you pull up with that weight, keep it close, keep it close, then straight up. So starting at the bottom, alternating sides in three, two, and one, here we go. So get a nice solid base with your legs. I've got wider than shoulder width here. Whatever you're comfortable with that allows you to drop your bum back, keep your back flat, and then power up. So really, whew. exhale, power up, keep that arm close. Good. Oh, you are doing awesome. Over, half, way. We're gonna bring it to the ground next. Chest press to narrow chest press or close grip chest press. Less than 10, keep it strong. Get as many reps in as you can here. Keep pushing, here it is. Three, two, and one. Good, so grab your weights. Chest press, switching that grip. Narrow chest press. Rolling it back. Three, two, and one. 60 on, press it up. Take it down, bring those arms narrow. And up, back out wide. Keep moving here. Check your wrists, make sure they're straight. Now this is gonna be your go-to workout when you are short on time. Maybe when you're not really feeling a longer workout and you're like, I just wanna move. Put this one, save this one. Have it ready for those days that are just busy, but you still know that you are your best when you get time for you. Cause this one, we are gonna feel so much better after this training session. I already know it. Even if you were feeling great before, last three, two, and one. We're gonna keep it right here. We have got uh, the last two exercises, or no, I'm sorry, we're last three exercises with the pods because we're gonna use these for our glute bridge. So if you've got them, we're gonna put our heels 
on. Three pulses up with our glute bridge. 60 seconds to go. In three, two, and one. So pulse it up for three, two, one. Obviously, if you don't have the pods, you are just doing your glute bridge. Three pulse. Now you can keep my tempo or pulse it out for your own three. Down, hold it for just a second. Power right back up, pulse it. Whew. And then we come down. Weight stays in the heels, whether you're on those pods or on the ground. Good, power it up. We have got all ab and core work to finish this training session and we are getting close. We are gonna do a walking plank. That's where we march our arms up and down from hands to forearms. Now you can do that on your knees, you can do it on your pods, your feet on your pods, or do it on the ground completely. Last three, two, and one. Whew. Weights are out. We are done with the weights for today. Now, if you've got your feet on your pods, on that, that pokey side, and here we go, we're gonna march it out with our arms. So take it down, down, up, up. Alternate sides. One arm leads down and up, and then the other. Keep that body long and strong. Squeeze the legs, squeeze the glutes, drive the heels to the wall behind you, drive your head to the wall in front of you. Our body should be just as it says, a plank. Woo, this one, extra little shake with these pods so you can really feel those legs activating to keep that stability underneath you. We've got a crunch next. Almost there. Last three, two, and one. All right, so regular crunch. If you've got your pods, you are gonna put the flat ends together, pokey side to your knees. As we crunch, you're gonna squeeze your knees together. No pod, no problem, just your crunch. Here we go, crunch it up. Last exercise, last 60 seconds and you've made it. Get those shoulder blades up. Exhale as you come up. If you've got those pods, really squeeze together here. So with this little extra squeeze, we've got that inner thigh working with this crunch also helps us work a little bit deeper into those abs. If you're curious about the pods at all, they are on my Amazon store, which you can find in the description. They're a super inexpensive, fun little tool to add really to any of your workouts, even if you wanted to add them when we're just doing a regular squat. That heel elevated squat works the quads more. But so many variations, so many things you can do with these. We are almost there. Last three. Two and one, amazing. You are the bomb. Now, I know if you had this shorter workout today, you might be in a rush, but just take a second here and just be grateful that your body can do what it just did. I wanna thank you for joining me. I think you're amazing. If you do have some extra time, I'm gonna encourage you to check out this Encore. It'll just be a nice little pair with this full body training. Thank you for being here. Go make the best of today and I love you.